like for example, some people I understand that they are looking for investment, right? Some people may look for a client. What you were looking for at the beginning, and how it was for you? Well, the, any entrepreneur, you got to hit it out of the park at some point. You've got to get an early win, and you got to prove to others that you're worth backing or that you know your stuff. So I think it's always tough to know what that is when you're first starting out, and then when you see it. Uh, being able to go after it in a way that others are drawn to you instead of you having to push yourself on them. I think that's just really important. So in my case, I had uh, I was going to be a consultant. That's what I originally started out. But just being a consultant, everybody's got an opinion. That's not it. And ultimately, one of my first clients was a little coffee roaster go up against two Starbucks. And uh, it was all about making his day and his business stronger. I didn't really even think about the legacy I was going to be doing with him or anything else. And because of the great work we did in that first year, sales rose 50%. And then I was able to go and talk to different people in the media to tell the story and ultimately ended up in a full page story in the New York Times uh, business section about uh, what I did. And that really launched the brand and the books and the speaking and everything else. But it, it first started on, I've got to make this guy's day before his story is going to make mine. And I think a lot of people are so concerned on being able to tell the story that they haven't really done the hard work, which is really focusing on your customer and getting in their mindset and making sure that you help them reach their goals and then they'll help you reach yours. But you can't have it the other way around.